Hey everybody, check it out. What's up? It's Heracles Porsche's professional intro. Yay! Hey, what's up everybody? The second round of playtests for Eve Vanguard starts today and it's going to be continuing until the 29th. In this video, we're going to be discussing experiences with both the Eve playtests that I've done to date. Uh, a few people did comment that I haven't released a lot of content after the first playtest. And I think I'm in a much better position to do that now. Uh, also, later in the video, we're going to be taking a look at the roadmap for Eve Vanguard. And I'm going to be killed by a very special YouTuber, so stay tuned for that footage. Okay, so here's my real talk when it comes to the first uh, playthrough for Eve Vanguard. Uh, the truth is, I did not have as much fun as I was expecting. I have been putting off talking about that. Uh, I've been very determined not to say anything that I felt would undermine the game's development. Uh, now I feel like I'm in a much better position to, uh, to talk about Vanguard. I've, I've been having a lot more fun with it today. Um, and I'll be explaining why in a little bit, but uh, first, um, let me explain why I didn't have as good a time in the first playtest. Uh, during the first playtest, uh, the game was released in a much earlier stage of development than I was expecting. I think that's a sentiment that a lot of people had and expressed. Um, I, this was addressed in the post that, uh, that went alongside the EVE roadmap, so, uh, the dev team has kind of reached out to us and, and apologized for that and, you know, went forward right I know a little bit. Um, but the other thing was that this game is really not at all like Dust514. I'm sure you guys know this is in Dust514 Veteran Channel. Uh, aside from being an EVE themed shooter and using a couple assets from Dust514, notably the Galente, what was the, the uh, Galente Scout suit and the Kaldari Medium suit, uh, aside from those two things, this really this game could not be more different from uh, Dust514. Um, uh, just a, a side note, so the Kaldari Medium suits are what what used to be the Kaldari medium suits are what the players are in, and what used to be the Galente scout suits are what the NPCs are in, just for that little random tidbit. Um, but yeah, no, just in terms of my personal preferences for a shooter, I tend to enjoy shooters that play more like Battlefield than Apex Legends. Uh, and another thing that was high on the list of reasons I wasn't able to enjoy uh, Vanguard as much when I started is because it's very glaringly noticeable that there's absolutely no progression system. Um, I mean, not every game I play has to have a pro progression system to be fun, but I've sort of I've come to expect it in my uh, multiplayer games. Earning a currency you can't spend on anything just feels frustrating, uh, and when most modern multiplayer games are, you know, have some kind of progress, definitive progress you make every game, even if it's just cosmetic progress, um, to not have that be in the game yet uh, felt frustrating. Uh, also, the corruption mechanic for completing missions in the game, it just feels detached from, again, it's another thing that's like, well, you're, you're doing this, but it's also, it just feels detached from me. Even though I do play EVE regularly, um, the corruption system had, feels like it has nothing to do for me. Maybe that's because I live in Nullsec, but anyway, I won't go on an EVE tangent just yet, but um, I just want to touch on a few more things. So uh, that was what kind of frustrated me on my first uh, playthrough. The other big thing was just the squad mechanics. Uh, we're only given the two clones clone respawns for three people um, and any obviously sooner or later someone in your squad is going to go down any mechanic where you're forced to spectate um, is not something I enjoy in in games in general um, 
It, and it just feels, and again, if it's the other way around, if someone else is being forced to spectate me, that also just feels a bit awkward. Um, so I had, but again, that would, that all happened in early December. I've had close to two months to consider what I would try when I came back to Eat Vanguard. I did try a little bit of what, how I'm playing now towards the end, but it was kind of rushed. But, uh, oddly enough, the thing that saved the game for me, uh, in terms of being able to enjoy it, is actually playing solo. Uh, even though I did really enjoy the company of the squad mates that I had, uh, when I did that first playthrough, uh, taking away the frustration of of um, the kind of like limited resources and the spectating uh, made it a lot easier to enjoy the game. So that's that's one way I managed to get a little more enjoyment out of E Vanguard. Um, another thing that helped me is not caring too much about getting the missions done. Uh, I'm just trying to enjoy the game's ambiance and the handful of fights that I managed to get into. Uh, and it's just made the game a lot more enjoyable for me. Um, I kn So, yeah, in terms of the missions, uh, I have gotten a couple of them done. And that, that felt nice, but again, it, it's just to earn currency that you can't spend anything. Like, and, you know... Um, it felt nice just to see what I could accomplish. Uh, but I'm still staying well away from any missions that have any... Where I have to craft for them. I'm very selective about my missions and, and still keep the focus on... Com almost completely on the PvP. But now that I've been able to uh, to speak about the gameplay... Um, I also want to touch on the roadmap before the video ends. Uh, so you'll see in the roadmap apparently we are going to be rewarded with... Uh, ship skins and plex. Uh, I love the capsule skin we got off the first playthrough, but adding some more, something more substantial than that, than a sort of effortless login reward, uh, will make this a more rewarding experience. Um, the details are still a bit hazy. CCP hasn't really explained the reward system, so I guess we'll have to be staying tuned in for that. Uh, hopefully, you guys also saw there the development of Vanguard is going to focus on bug fixes and stability for the next couple play tests. We're going to be getting the new mining system in March. June is going to be really interesting. Uh, they're going to be adding a new map, the ability to modify our suits and weapons, so that'll definitely start to make it feel a lot more like what I remembered from Dust. Um, uh, it definitely feels like a very important step towards the progression, the variety I'd expect from an enjoyable game. Uh, I really feel good about the general direction of the roadmap. I'd say the only glaring absence is I don't see anything about them adding the new weapons. We saw those four weapons at FanFest. I'd really like to have different things to shoot uh, to help keep the game fresh. Um, but yeah, I, I am playing EVE and I'm considering releasing some content on that. As, as you just saw, I was killed by a very special other Eve YouTuber. Uh, so that's it for the video. Uh, I hope to get all of your feedback and hope some of this filters through the devs. And thank you so much uh, for watching, everybody. And until next time, I will see you star side.